We have you on visual. Let's see the Warner Music Group try to mute this one. Take it higher. Take it high. I don't know the lyrics. Five, four, three, two, one. Nuke hangs his head in shame. And we're on to the third set here between Flash and Shuttle. On Return of the King, four-player map. Let's get the colors and positions. Down here at the 5 o'clock in purple is Flash. Twitching his eye already. Good old Flash. And down here in uh, white or beige at the 8 o'clock position is Shuttle. Uh, winner takes all in this one. And uh, Shuttle did not play all that great in the last game. He just made uh, a mistake, <laughs> which... Like I said, in the first game, one mistake can pretty much ruin your game when you're playing at such a high level as these guys. He just went for economy a little bit too much, a little bit too fast to tech, and Flash definitely took advantage of it in that game. I don't think he took advantage of it nearly enough in the first game when uh, Shuttle was expanding all over the place. And Flash thought to himself, you know what? He's probably going to do the same thing in the second set as well. So I'm going to be prepared for it this time. And it actually worked out. And Flash did a great job. Went in, got the early pressure, and had some excellent uh, vulture control to surround those Dragoons and take out the entire force of a shuttle here. So Shuttle saw Flash's full fury in that last game. So we'll see if what Shuttle can do in this next game. He is not going for another 12 Nexus. He is putting down his gateway, playing much more standardly here. While Flash is prepared for anything, he is walling off into his main, putting down his barracks and his refinery. Another standard opening from Flash. There's the assimilator coming up for Shuttle. This is going to be exciting. Since it's a four-player map, I'm expecting a longer game from these guys, since they're both going for standard openings as well. That's another indicator of a standard game, which really shows the um, better player. When both players go for standard, you can always tell who the better player is, at least at standard play. Some players are better at cheese and uh, cheesiness and interesting strats. I think Up Magic's a good example of that. I don't really think of Up Magic as the best standard player in the world, but he doesn't have to go standard. He comes up with his own strategies that uh, aren't really cheese. Sometimes he cheeses, sometimes he doesn't, but he always goes for something unpredictable. And I think that that's what makes a good StarCraft player. When you can be unpredictable and uh, keep your opponent guessing, you can keep the mind control over your opponent, basically. That, and if you build up enough wins, you can eventually <laughs> uh, get your opponent to believe that they're going to fail, which is why Jadong has such an impressive uh, Zerg versus Zerg r record right now, because it's so impressive that his opponents are too scared to really um, play up to their full potential, and he just keeps winning then. Of course, Jadong has lost some games of ZVZ recently. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go into that. Uh, I know the most... The one that you probably know about is Haiva versus Jadong. But uh, watch some more of Jadong's recent ZVZs, and you might find a loss in there somewhere. Looks like uh, Shuttle is coming out here with a small force. Probably going to try to intercept that um, SCV that's trying to come down to scout. Yes, Shuttle is prepared here. He's going to try to intercept that SCV. I think the SCV is not going to be able to get in. Shuttle is going to uh, guard that choke as long as he can, while Flash looks like he's going for another standard build here. Another tank, five Marines, and then into his expansion here. That will pretty much protect him against anything. The robotics facility coming up for Shuttle right now, and he's up upgrading Dragoon range at the moment, while Flash is guarding his choke 
with a single Marine, not pumping any more Marines. So he could be going for another drop strategy here, might be building another starport soon, or maybe expanding again. He has a lot of options. Terrans especially have a lot of options branching off from uh, a standard type opening. Here comes a robotics facility warping in. So this is probably going to be another Reaver harassment type build from shuttle here. Flash does have his tank out. So he's going to get siege research. Actually, it's probably mines. He's probably going to get a couple of uh, vultures out and try to do an initial push with some mines. Just be annoying. And shuttle did not show the best Reaver control in the world in that last game. He's putting up his observatory right now so he can get the full scout here. Uh-oh, Flash sees that Nexus coming up. So that's pretty much all he needed to do with that SCV. He's not going to have to waste a scan on that base. He knows Shuttle is going for his base right now, so Flash can feel safe to put down his own command center right now. And he is going to put that down right over here and build a starport. So he is going for another drop strategy here, either that or Wraiths. I think drop is uh, the th what you should be expecting right now. And he built that engineering bay just so he can get a bunch of turrets around here and stop the um, harassment from happening. Now he has siege tanks out. Flash playing much more defensively. This is what I think of when I think of Flash play. I don't think of super aggressive play. I think of Flash uh, defending perfectly and getting out enough troops to push in with a monstrous troop and uh, I think that's what he's going to do here if a shuttle can't break through the initial tank line here and he's going against Ivan Drago here he's putting down his control tower Soviet control tower coming up for Ivan Drago and there comes the observer so this uh, <laughs> shuttle's going to look at all of the siege tanks here. He's going to see those two siege tanks and realize that it's not really worth uh, <laughs> screwing over all of his dragoons by going in trying to snipe one of them. So he's just going to hang out at the choke for the time being until he can maybe group some more troops over, maybe get a shuttle in or something like that to be able to cart his troops over into the main. But there's not really any way he can move in right now with this troop. I mean, he can try, sure, but he's not going to succeed. And he has a bunch of ob observers in here. He definitely wants to get the full scout and everything that Flash has here. Flash has quite a few troops this time around. He pumped more Marines, so he's, he has some better uh, anti-air right now. While Shuttle is going for his mineral only behind his main. A very strange mineral only. And Flash is going for his mineral only as well, so they're both macroing up again in this game. Another longer game for both players. And Flash, once again, is going for his double tank drop strat. We'll see if it works out a little bit better for him in this game than it did in the last game. Because in his last game, I think he got about three probe kills, maybe, with his siege tanks. And he just lost them pretty quickly. And I think that hurt him, even though he did end up coming back to win that game. Shuttle's running back to his base right now. He has Reavers, but he has no Scarabs right now. He, his, that Reaver just came out, so he doesn't have any Scarabs to fight off this tank. But he's coming in with his Reaver now. I think the Scarab just now got done uh, researching there. So I think the tank is going to go down. The second tank coming in here, but it's going to be picked at by the Zealot here. And <laughs> Shuttle actually using his probes to fight once again. Uh, Shuttle is definitely not afraid to fight with his probes here. He hasn't been running them a whole lot. He's been fighting with them for the most part. Flash building another factory here, getting his macro up and running. And once he gets that uh, mineral only up and running, he's probably going to have a scary force pushing out of his natural expansion to take on Shuttle here. And Shuttle coming in with a small force of his own. Uh, not as many Dragoons this time around. I think he's committing mostly to Reavers, unless he has a couple of Dragoons in that Shuttle. But I think he, uh, that Shuttle is filled with Reavers at the moment. He's going to try to come in and get some harassment with those Reavers soon enough. But Flash is one of the best at fending off Reaver harassment. I mean, f any harassment, really. DT harassment, Flash is the guy to fend it off. He just has brilliant unit placement. He has brilliant placement of his detection. And he has very good reactions with his scans, just everything he needs to defend. Flash is excellent at defending against troops. And he's hanging his troops around the main right now, just in case Shuttle should try to be cavalier and come in with his uh, Reaver. 
and that shuttle. But looks like shuttle is just hanging around his base right now, getting his macro up. And he's expanding up there at the 10 o'clock base. If Flash scouts that, it could be trouble because that base is pretty darn far away. I don't think that shuttle will be able to run up in time if Flash should drop a couple of tanks up there. Shuttle is, yeah, shuttle is just waiting for that dropship to come in. I think he knows about the dropship since the dropship dropped the tanks earlier, and he's thinking that Flash is going to do that again. <laughs> 